Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another episode. It's 5.30 a.m. on a Sunday. Usually, you're doing it early on a Sunday, but this is a special occasion. As you guys can tell by the video title, it's very out of my comfort zone, and there's only a very few places that actually do this type of experience. So these people are actually licensed to bring sharks around and chuck that sort of bait that attracts them. So, yeah, let's get into it. skipper today. Um, you've met uh, River and Grace who checked you in and scored you over. Yep. Do a good job? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Sasha in the galley is going to be looking after all of your dietary and appetite needs today. You'll be as full as goods by the time you leave the boat. And Maka uh, on the back deck will be working on the, on the back deck to help you up all the dive operations. Okay. Now, um, shark cash diving. Yep. Yep. Okay. Four yesterday. Oh, oh, good, good. Come, come on, a bit of feedback's good, okay? okay? Four sharks yesterday, which is excellent. Um, so we hope we can do it. Pardon? Four weeks, wasn't it? Four days. So four, four, four days. Oh, okay, right. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I only care about the days I go out. <laughs> okay, so we'll try and do that again today, too. Um, now we've got about a three hour trip down to North Ditch and Island because we're going to be doing the shark cage diving. Uh, the weather today is a bit of easterly, not too much wind, 10, 15 knots, uh, not too much swell, not too much sea. So I think we'll have a pleasant day in the water. It's going to be 20 something degrees today. So it'll be a nice warm day out there, not too many clouds. I think it'll be uh, a cracker down the water. Um, some skippers like to talk about shark cage stuff uh, now. If it's okay with you, I think I'd rather leave that until we get down there. I think it gives you a better context when we talk about what we're going to do and where we're going to do it. Everyone happy with that? Yep. yep. Okay, good. We do need to talk about safety. Safety is very important. We like to come back with as many people as possible. Okay. That's a little joke. Okay. okay. And we're pretty successful in that endeavour, so there's no reason why we shouldn't be with that today. To that end, we have an amount of safety equipment on board the boat. Um, I think you know, we'll all be familiar with something that looks like this. We've seen it in plenty of movies. Um, this is actually a movie prop. It's a fake jacket, it doesn't actually work. That's a joke, it does. <laughs> okay. So, operation's pretty simple. There's a head, hole, goes like that. The only place it can go, there's a strap that goes around the back and fastens up in the, uh, in the front. Now, if you're gonna be wearing one of these, give this strap a good hard toe, so they're nice and snug on your chest, okay? You don't wanna be uncomfortable when you're floating in the water and waiting for rescue. You need to be nice and comfortable and confident, okay? If you do find yourself wearing one of these tonight, I'm not anticipating that to be the case, a salt water activated light will come on and that will help you find the whistle. And you can blow that to your blue in the face or pass out, okay? <laughs> okay. Now if you want to guarantee rescue, you keep on, I don't know if you're AFL fans or not, but you just blow the crow song over and over and over again and rescue will come from every direction, okay? If you blow Collingwood or something else, no one's coming. <laughs> just a, a little joke, sorry. Okay. Um, Life jackets. Now they're kept under the seats up front, um, up top. We've got heaps of them. Okay, um, they're very reasonably priced. Um, <laughs> price goes up as the boat goes down. <laughs> Get in early. <laughs> okay. Um, now, in addition to life jackets, of course, we have life rafts. Okay, we've got two big life rafts, and um, I'm not anticipating we'll be using those today. But should we? Uh, need you to gather on the muster station, it's that rear deck area where you came on board the boat just a few minutes ago, okay? And we'll pass out the very reasonably priced life jackets and get you into the life rafts. When you're in the life rafts, you actually make your own way home from there, because you're in the life rafts. <laughs> you don't get in the life rafts, you've still got a boat. Got it? Yep. Okay, good, okay, good. 
Excellent. Um, now, um, it's, a, it's a boat. I know that sounds a bit obvious, but um, even though it's going to be a good day in the water today, boats do unusual and uh, unexpected things from the water. Um, they sort of go around in circles and bob up and down and sway around. So my advice to you, if you're walking around the boat, and feel free to do so, there's lots of things you can hang on to. Lots of hand holes, stuff you can hang on to just to make sure you're a nice, secure, nice, secure journey, okay? Make sure you've got secure footing. There's a very handy trip hazard we put at the uh, saloon entrance there. Lift your feet as you go up and down there, okay? Um, set of stairs going up to the top deck. That's a good spot to see dolphins and enjoy the day. If you are going up and down the stairs, go up and down facing them. There's a sign that says that. Don't do as I do. Do as I say on that one, okay? Just yeah. trust me. One hand in each rail. Bit of a common sense uh, off health and safety thing these days with ladders. Okay. Um, there's got two toilets and showers on the port deck. Um, after you dive, I think the water's up to put it 18 and a half, 19 degrees at the moment, river, so it's, so it's fairly, uh, fairly warmish. It's not the maximum it can get, but um, after you dive, you might be a little bit chilly. Duck into the showers, get some warm water and warm up before you change out, okay? The toilets in there are U-Boot Marine Electric Toilets. Trust me, nothing goes in those that hasn't gone through you in the first place. Very important, okay? There's signs there telling you what can and can't go in there. If we obey the signs and my advice, my day will be wonderful. Okay, so, um, okie dokie. Uh, now, we do have these little beauties on board. Some people may be a bit concerned with motion sickness. As I say, I think we're gonna have a pretty good day in the water today, but if you are feeling a bit queasy, my first advice to you would be to jump out and get some fresh air on the, on the back deck, okay? Focus on something else other than your own misery and uh, you'll probably come to it. If you are feeling a bit queasy, <coughs> grab one of these, lay hold about a litre and a half, you seal them up that way. That you also take home as an endearing memento of your time with us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, now, all the way down, uh, we've got Ricky coming out shortly. Um, Sasha's been hard at work since probably, I don't know, what, two o'clock this morning? Yes, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you exhausted. <laughs> but um, grab some Ricky, there'll be um, uh, muffins coming out, and um, there's uh, a fruit platter, I assume. Yeah, um, yeah. Coffee machine here, grab a cup of coffee, put the kettle on. Um, and uh, we'll have morning tea and lunch, afternoon tea, um, nibble all the way, okay, so you'll be well fed. Now, uh, water and sunblock, very important today. Uh, there's a little tap here with fresh filtered chilled water. Keep that up and there's plenty of sunblock lying around the boat there, so keep those two things up there. It may not be the hottest day in the world today, but the sun will get you, okay? So um, keep that sunblock and that water up. Okay, um, any questions? Everyone happy with that lot so far? Yes. Okay, all good. Excellent. Okay, well, you can scatter now. Um, I'll finish with you and uh, we'll see you down at uh, North Island and Kitchen Water. Yes? Good. Okay, okay. Maybe you thinking me out. Maybe you thinking me out. south of Port Lincoln, so we're going down along the, uh, the mainland here, we'll go through some islands just to make the journey nice and comfortable, yep. and then we'll leave the mainland and then we'll travel for about an hour across the open water and get to North Neptune Island, which is where we're going to be doing our shark cage diving. Yeah. yeah. And how long does it usually go for like when we're in the water in the cage? Well, about 30 to 35 minutes. It depends very much on the shark activity. If they're very uh, active, then everyone gets a good look and they hang around. Yep. We can keep people in the cage uh, reasonably well. If 
they're very flighty and they come and go. We might turn the groups over a bit more quickly and get everyone into the water and maybe again. Yep. But it depends very much on the shark activity. But lately they've been very good. So by the time we get the whole group in the cage, the first people have been in for 35 minutes, maybe a little bit more. Some people take a little bit longer to get in the cage. Um, but definitely minimum of 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yeah. Which, you know, given the water temperature and everything, uh, you know, it's long enough. Yeah, you know, you don't really want to be in that town. It's pretty cold. No, no. You get a bit chilly after that. Um, yeah. Southern Ocean waters, they're not the warmest waters. It's not tropical. Yeah, so, that's it. Yeah. Um, and these tours, they include pretty much breakfast, all day food. Breakfast, morning tea, lunch, afternoon tea, nibbles. Yep. Uh, if, we, if we catch a tour on the way, we might do some sashimi. Uh, that's not a guarantee, but sometimes we do that. Yep. But um, yeah, no, there's plenty of plenty to eat. Yeah. Keep the fluids up, get the sun back on, and uh, I think you'll be. Uh, you won't need too much tea time, that's for sure. Yeah. I'm looking pretty forward to today. Me too. You look so broken when you cry. One more, and then I say goodbye. Sometimes all I think about is you Late nights in the middle of June He ways been faking me out Can't make you happy or not Sometimes all I think about is you Late nights in the middle of June He ways been faking me out Can't make you happy or now. I just wanna know what you're dreaming of When you sleep and smile so comfortable I just wish that I could give you that That look that's perfectly unsaid Sometimes all I think about is you Late nights in the middle of June He always been faking me out He always been faking me Here, and going down one step at a time. But when we decide you were spotted the cage, it's a 
simple matter of reaching out for the handrail, a very handy handrail here, moving your body to where it is, not a long distance, you can reach it from the ladder, wherever it is. Now there will be some movement in the cage, I'm hoping it will calm down a bit more today, but there will be some movement. So basically what's happening now is they're pretty much just chumming up the water, getting all the bait in there, uh, trying to get sharks around. And there's a few groups of people who are allocated to going in the cage. And there's about eight people in the cage at each time. So we're just waiting for sharks to come around and group one is getting ready to go in the cage. It's a small one. It's only small. Oh, is that... oh, is it? Uh, you're out of the spotting team. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it looks pretty decent, let me tell you, it must be about a 25 kilo kitty. Alright, so basically, we're still waiting, but a shark just turned up. It looked pretty big as well. we just seen it about there, it's come back around. But, basically, every day, it ranges different. Some days you're waiting an hour, some days five minutes, and straight up. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's massive. Can't wait to get in the cage and show you. Get the bait? No. Yeah. I'll see you. Right, right. Take another cup. Yeah. 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 